is too great. Cause whatever it takes, by air, by water, by land, we shall fight that all others may leave. Zambia Army's Special Forces are a strategic asset of the Commander-in-Chief. They are a force multiplier and a high-level tactical enabler, trained to engage the enemy forces or targeted objectives and power drop behind enemy lines on the battle space. They undertake high-risk mission and shake the battle space for furtherance of military operations. <laughs> Special Forces training is categorized in two forts. There is what we call direct intake. These are trained as civilians selected from the civil world, school leavers, who come to a Special Forces training school. They are trained into infantry. Once they graduate, we convert them into Special Forces uh, operators through doing Special Forces training. The second selection is through internal recruitment, which is done to the serving members of the Defence Force, those who are willing and who are within the age limit which is required for training. Once selected, they are brought to the Special Forces Training School here in Mbala, where they undergo rigorous training, watermanship, that is swimming, Kayaking, paratrooping, diving, marksmanship, and other special operations. The most important one also is the VIP uh, protection. The special forces are specialized in that, and marksmanship, mastering all weapons. Rescue operations and the other related the special operations are conducted at the, the training school before they graduate to go to the three main units which are within the Special Forces Corps. Special Forces training on airborne operations, uh, we deal with the helicopter operations, fast roping and air landing using fixed wings, that is paratrooping. And that's just a component of the Special Forces training. It does not mean when someone has done paratrooping, dropping from an aircraft, he becomes a Special Forces. No, that is just a one component within the Special Forces training. So all Special Forces are specialized in the airborne operation and the paratrooping. And after satisfying the instructors, the trainee operatives are declared ready for induction by the Commander-in-Chief at the recommendation of Zambia Army Commander, who has since visited the training area to assess their readiness. Lieutenant General Aliwuzwi first called on Bala District Commissioner Annie Po. Miss Annie Po spoke highly of the Zambia Army officers and soldiers' commitment to duty in the district. We are doing everything possible. We do realize also the, the nature of our body, the water bodies including the, the ground. Uh, us in uniform, we have very limited the push. We've pushed for what you are asking us to provide to the special forces, the boats. We're in the process, so the process may take long, but we're in the process to acquire the uh, specialized boats for special forces operations. Not until that process is done, we will continue uh, providing the support through all the means that are available. Some of them through initiative. That is major initiative. But I want to mention that we are committed to the protection of this country uh, because that, that is our core business. So I want to assure you that we are doing everything possible. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will see us bring about a change in the way we conduct uh, our business through provision of the required equipment. The select areas for the exercise which the, the young officers are conducting, as you may be aware, they've been training for quite some time now. And 
they, they are about to complete their basic special forces the training. And uh, currently uh, conducting an exercise, a coordinated or exercise summer assault. You will be receiving a, a lot of people very shortly in the coming month to come and witness their graduation. And if we, all things go well, the president himself is the commander in chief of the defense force who will come to, will come to uh, officiate at, at, the, at the graduation. Commander, I was saying, uh, let me just take this opportunity to sincerely thank your officers in our district. They've been very, very helpful. There are many times that uh, we may find ourselves in uh, very awkward situations. But when we call out for help from them, they've really been helpful. Starting from the, the former commandant, uh, Colonel Moses Shapoya, even our current commandant, they are very, very helpful people. Yes, we really appreciate them. Thank you to hear. Thank you so much. Special Forces Training School Commandant Lieutenant Colonel Kenneth Ngulube briefed the Army Commander on his tour while in the district. We have the exercise brief. Then the commander will address the young officers and later flag them off. Then we propose that uh, you tour the project, they propose the recruit training center, then tour the new admin, admin block that is uh, under construction. The Army commander witnessed several demonstrations of different skills and capabilities acquired by the troops. Among them, night attacks, raids, demolitions and live night firing. This raid prepares the special forces trainee operatives for terrorism scenario as Captain Sondoy, a course officer, highlights. Currently we are conducting the final exercise for the special forces basic training for the officers who recently graduated. The exercise commenced some three days ago in which trainees have exercised their what they have learned in training. That is the conduct of ambushes and reconnaissance missions. Currently, today, they will undertake the raid operation, which will culminate in the final exercise. Staff Sergeant Arthur Mpiakula is an instructor. We do military mountaineering here in Imbala, especially at Neo's farms, where we have high cliffs and high mountains. We do it in, whenever we have got exercises and we can use them during war. We store ropes at fixed wings. When we are using a chopper, we can use ropes in mountain uh, mountaineering. But how do trainees describe the training? I've gained a lot of experience to operate everywhere, either by water, by land, and by air. The training is not that easy, but we've managed. I have gained a lot of knowledge in various areas that uh, I previously did not know of after my basic military training. The Army Commander also visited the Special Forces Forward Operation Base in Polongo District. The President of the Republic of Zambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force will come to graduate you. And when he comes to graduate you, he should find proud young officers who are ready to protect the sovereignty of this nation. Yours as a special forces operatives, your skills and competencies are rare and are not unnecessarily displayed in public. The efforts that command is making, uh, we may have some new land coolers not too far from uh, within this year. We request command if we can, uh, we can send you uh, one here. Earlier, General Iwuzwi paid a courtesy call on Polongo District Commissioner Gerhard Sikazwe. I'm very delighted to mention that the team that he has delegated to come and spearhead the, the security and in Pulungu, we are working in good relationship with them. Just since from the time they came, we do enjoy what the government wants. They've been executing duties that we are enjoying 
in terms of security and being a, a, a policy area, as you can look at it, Bulungu in nature is uh, connected to so many countries along the ratio of which we believe what you are doing at Zambia Army deserves commendation from the higher authorities. The Army Commander also took time to worship with New Apostolic Church Chilaview Congregation. Satisfied with his findings, the Army Commander visited Motomoto Museum and Kalambo Force to appreciate local tourism. Mbala, the Kalambo Force area has been a very good training area for Zambia Army. We have been using this place for some good years and today we are here just to come and appreciate the, the place. We have gone around, we have seen the, the, the Colombo Falls uh, and the, this area is well secured. There are no encroachment and the, the soldiers are not, are not interfered uh, during training by the locals. Well, we came for the tour to see our special forces officers who are training. But we also thought it best that we come through and we promote local tourism. This is uh, a dance that is uh, traditionally referred to as Insimba in the Mambwe Lungu languages or tribes. Yeah. The dance is uh, about the cultural uh, being of the Mambwe Lungu people around the Kalambo area.